So I'm appalled because I've been talking this whole time and have not been recording. But anyway, <laughs> let me back it up for you guys. Uh, I'm Bordeaux Rose. How are you today? Just coming because I wanted to do a quick video. Well, it probably won't be that quick, but I wanted to do a video on the products that I recommend as a very seriously shiny, oily, 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 oil, slick, okay? Like, remember that Dawn commercial where the bird had oil all over him? They were trying to clean it with the Dawn. That's me. I was that bird. Okay, I am that bird. Uh, I get that oily. It's ridiculous. Okay, uh, greasy. All right. Uh, as you can see, as the shine that just it never goes away. I always have a shine. But anyway, um, <clears throat> do me a favor. After you watch this video, if you like it, give me a like subscribe share uh either way it'll help thank you so much and thanks for being here and thanks to all the people my my little handful of subscribers that were already here i really appreciate you for sticking around so time i post a video and you guys watch it some i don't really get that many views but that's okay you still stick in here with me you don't unsubscribe so um let's get right into it so for the sake of time i already did my brows and I applied a little bit of concealer. And the concealer that I use is Fenty Beauty's Matchstick in Suede. I absolutely love this. I bought this, bought this on launch day. And I have this much still left. That is amazing. Okay. Um, it's a little bit lighter than my skin. But it's okay. You know, it really mutes out my little dark spots. You can still kind of see them a little bit through. But once I put foundation... They're gone. So it's not as bad as when I just try to put foundation on my bark, my dark spots. So that's a, actually a good one for oily skin, even though I know it's kind of creamy. But I think that line was geared towards oily, oily skin, and it really, really works very well. So um, I'm going to show you two foundations, but I'm only going to try one. So the first one that I'm going to show you that's really good for oily skin, and I have reviewed this already, is the NYX can't stop won't stop foundation now this foundation is really good it stays put it does get a little oily in hot weather like i live in miami florida and it's always extremely hot <laughs> it's always extremely hot here i'm not picking that up okay i'll pick that up later um it's always extremely hot here so i do get shine a little bit of shine with this but it stays put and if you have really oily um Skin, you know that sometimes when you wear, when you wear um, for some foundations, they break up when it's too oily. Uh, but this is actually a good one. So it's going to stay put. It's not going to separate on you. And it will stay matte longer than a normal foundation would. Um, actually, I'm going to show you three. Excuse me. The same goes for the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Soft. Uh, filter soft matte long wear foundation. I'm a 420 in this one. I'm a Sienna uh, in the can't stop won't stop. But this one is also good as well. But it's the same kind of effect with this one. They both stay put on your skin. They will not break up. They do get a little shiny. I want to say that I get a little bit. I get shiny quicker with. I want to say this one, and I think it's because this one is thicker than this one. Okay, but they both stay on your skin you just have to blot and they'll be fine okay but they won't separate like most do most foundations do on very oily skin um <clears throat> but <clears throat> the absolute best 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 foundation for oily skin is this foundation right here now i'm gonna show you um another one because i have to mix it and it, the label looks a little different but it's the same thing okay this is the Queen CoverGirl Queen Collection All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. This foundation, let me tell you, I don't care how much you paid for it. I don't care where you flew it in from, imported or flewed, flewed it in from, like my girl um, Young Miami says. Um, but this right here that you find in, is it Walgreens? Yes, Walgreens is like one of the only places I could find this foundation as well. Um... It's going to stay put. When I say it's going to, I have to mix them because this Almond Glow is a little bit light um, and the Sheer Espresso is a little bit dark. But when I when I mix them, I get like the perfect complexion. And I kind of do like three of the Sheer Espresso and like two of the Almond um glow and I get like my perfect um skin complexion I'm gonna demo them for you but when I tell you they don't they the only thing I will say about these is 
they're kind of, um, you have to build them up. So it's kind of like sheer to medium. But by the time I put my concealer and things like that, it and I put it on, it's like full coverage. But when I tell you it keeps me matte, it keeps me um, A-T-T-E all day. Hot weather, cold weather, it does not matter. This is what I do. <laughs> I mix it like that with my little spatula here. Um, hot weather, cold weather, it is going to keep you matte. M-A-T-T-E, capital M, okay? Capital M, matte. And I use this foundation as if, and I use it with a brush. I also use it with a sponge, but because it's kind of sheer, I do notice that if I use it with a brush, which is the most foundations, I get a better coverage with it. But um, I use it with something like this, a stippling brush. This is my Sigma Dual Fiber. Um, and I don't know if you can tell already so far how with the found, with the concealer and just using it with this brush, I already have pretty good coverage, okay? I'm going to kind of show you on the other side where I have like dark spots. And I even, I always put too much foundation on the back of my arm, but I hate having to go back and mix again and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I do, I put so much, but okay, so you can see the coverage after I put it on is great okay I build it up a little bit and I have no problems but like I said like you see how well it just matches my skin when I mix it I hate that I have to do that so I ended up buying two bottles which cost me I think like um if I'm not some places I see it for like $8.99 some Walgreens are different price. I don't know what that is, but I see it for the most part for $12.50 a bottle, okay? And you cannot get this in Walmart. They do not sell this. You will get it in Walgreens for sure, though. I think I picked it up somewhere else. I just can't remember exactly where. Um, but Walgreens is where it's at, all right? And a lot of times they have buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off. It is really a good time to buy it at that point okay especially if you have to mix but let me tell you load up on this stuff because you cannot find it anywhere um and also go online to walgreens.com and just order it but when i tell you it does not go on dry you know how some foundations that are supposed to be for oily skin they go on very dry this does not go on dry okay and the best part about this foundation is the price tag I went to the YSL event in Sephora, and I'm like, all right, let me try the YSL because the YSL is supposed to be matte. It's supposed to be so so nice and blah, blah, blah. I bought the YSL, and I it, it was okay. The formula was okay. Um, I think it was like the other two where it does get oily. It'll stay put, but it says it gets oily. But $54, and it didn't really match my skin that well. It did not have a... a color for me was like come on sis let's not do that okay let's let's just not do that all right anyway so yeah this is gonna stay matte all day long like all day long and like i said you see the color how perfect it is when i match when i uh mix it and again that was almond glow and um sheer espresso and just for reference just for reference, I am a 420 in the Fenty Foundation. I am a Chi in um, Too Faced. Too Faced is good. They're very full coverage, but they're not for oily skin. Okay. But I do put that on if I'm only going to be wearing makeup for a short time and I want full coverage right away. I do use that. Uh, I like it. I wish it was more uh, matte, though. So, anyway, now we're going to move on to my favorite concealer right now i don't care it's six dollars i have one right with it though and i do have three different colors one is for one is the light 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 concealer where if i want to be snatched i use number 44 if i want to be semi snatched i use 46 when i want to kind of match my complexion and just be kind of incognito but still get rid of those little dark spots you know in a more professional setting i use 48 Okay, and this is the ColourPop 
uh, no filter concealer love it um, my only gripe with this is I have to buy it pretty often because it doesn't like there isn't a lot of product I'm gonna use 46 a day when I want to be semi snatched okay um, there isn't a lot of product in here I mean I know people always get on and talk about the net weight and all of that. Let me see. I have a new box. Let me see because I don't see. Oh, it is on here. Net weight is uh, 5 grams, so 0.170 ounces. I, I I just don't get a lot of use out of these before I have to repurchase. That's all I got to say. I want to say I get a good... Maybe a few weeks. To me, that's not a lot when I have things like... Um, where is she? And I think it's because I'm going to show you why. When I have things like Urban Decay, this one lasts me for actually several months because it's very thick. But it's too thick. And I think it's too, too thick for oily skin. But it's it's a good. But this is really good. Um, what I have to do with this, though, and Jackie Aina actually taught me this. This is a hair. Not a hair, but maybe two shades lighter. And this is number 46. But um, Jackie Anna, actually, from watching her videos, I learned um, that if you just let this sit, because if you try to blend it out, like if I wanted to blend it out right now, it's going to blend right away. And I'm going to have to be layering it. But what I've learned with this concealer is you just let it sit for a quick second and go in and blend and you'll have full coverage. Now... What I normally do is I just let it sit while I'm doing my, let me put my other, let me put them back over here because they're all in my way. Um, and I still have foundation on the back of my head, so let me be careful. What I normally do is um, look for my setting powder, which I have three to show you. Um, but one of them is my favorite and I'm going to explain to you why I start. I just let it sit while I'm trying to pull out my setting powder. You know how you do, you open your setting powder and you dust it out or whatever the case may be, but I'm not going to do that just quite yet. Um, because this takes a while to dry down. You're not going to really make a mistake and it's not going to dry on you like the urban decay one. And that one would have come before this, but that urban decay, you put that on, you have to blend it right away. I mean, but before you could put your setting powder on, it's already dry. You've messed it up trying to put setting powder over it. That's my only gripe with that one. But it's very, very, very pigmented and very, 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 very full coverage. Okay. Um, but these are my three oily skin favorite um, essential setting powders. Okay. The first one I'm going to talk about, I'm going to go from least to best. You get me? Okay. Is the, the Cody air spun powder. Now this is, is, um, translucent extra coverage. I should not have bought this one. I should have just bought the translucent, translucent because I get this like white cast under my eyes that I really don't like, but this is going to keep your concealer in place. And if you're lighter complexion than me and you dust this all over your face, it's going to keep your makeup in place all day, matte all day. I absolutely love Cody Airspun. I'm um, sorry if you heard that scream. Uh, Cody Airspun powder. I absolutely love this. It's so good. You get so much. Look at what I just did. Oh my goodness. You get so much in here. It's ridiculous almost. Like, when I buy this, I have it for months and months and months. And I think I it cost me like $8. And this is this is what I feel like brands need to do. They need to give us the bargain. Okay, because how much is in here? 2.3 ounces. This is bomb. This is bomb. I, I have this for months and months and months and months. I don't have to purchase a... Uh, if I was a lighter complexion, I wouldn't have to purchase another one. But I still use this. It still works good for me. I just sometimes powder a little bit over it with my... My little like um, setting powder that I use all over my skin, um, which I really haven't found a good one for oily skin yet. You know, my CoverGirl Queen one is okay, but I wish I could find another one. But this is really, really good. Okay, very inexpensive. It's, it should be number one, but I, it, the reason it's not number one is because they don't sell a yellow one. That, that would be good for my undertone. Uh, the second good best one, I think, is the Black Opal. And this I actually use over my whole skin as well. Um, but it's called the Invisible Oil Blocking Loose Powder Color-Free Formula Matte Finish. 
when I say matte, they, they really mean matte. This is really good. It's going to keep your makeup in place all day. You don't have to use a lot of it. What I normally use this for, though, is after I put my, um, my, uh, what is it called? Oh, my goodness, my contour. <laughs> Oh, my bronzer I can't speak I never can speak when I talk to you guys but once I put my bronzer my contour on I just take this and you know I clean it up and it stays all day and sometimes if I'm just doing a quick natural look I will go into this and just kind of lightly blot it all over my skin with a powder puff because it's almost close to my skin it's kind of oh, I just spilled it all over my phone case uh, and my desk here and my vanity that's okay um but it's almost the same complexion as my skin, so it really, really looks amazing, um, and it keeps my skin amazing. I normally do that, like, if I'm going out at night, and I could, I can, I can kind of afford to put it all over my skin, and, you know, you won't see much. I don't take a lot of pictures when I go out, so I don't really know if, I, if there's flashback issues with these. That's something you would have to test if you decided to buy these. My most favorite setting powder and this I use just for my concealer because of the tone of it. But my And I haven't tried. I think they have a darker, but I haven't tried it. My most favorite is this. Beauty Bakery Flower. Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter. This setting power powder is the bomb. First of all, the yellow tone of it, you see how much I've used? It's like almost gone. I don't know if you can see that, but it's almost gone. The, the yellow tone of it is perfect. I'm going to demo this because I am going to use this right now. It is perfect. Look, I can barely get any out because I've used it up. Okay, this is how I get it out of here. <laughs> but I almost have nothing. I need to buy another one. But, you know, I have so much Cody Airs bun and I have this one. So I don't really buy it. When I'm done with those, I'm probably going to buy another one of those. Just because you kind of have to know, just because you buy things that are expensive doesn't mean that you have to just continuously buying expensive things. You have to also be frugal with your purchases. Okay, so, you know, when I finish these other two, I'll go back and get the Beauty Bakery one. I bought it because I was testing it out and then I bought these and I don't know what I was thinking. Anywho, so I'm going to demo it for you. I'm going to now blend out my concealer. Okay, okay, okay. Let me move this mirror. I'm washing you guys out. Love this concealer. And now I let it dry a little bit too long, but that's okay. It will blend out. Yes, yes. But you see, oh my God, the coverage. Would you just let it dry a little bit? When I went to the YSL event, I had to tell the makeup artist that was doing my makeup that. I was like, listen. Because she was trying to like rush. And she put the concealer on. And she just went to blending. And I'm like, listen. Let it sit a little bit, you know? For the coverage. Because the YSL concealer, they don't have one for my complexion. And then on top of that, it's very thin very thin you have to build that up and it's just not worth it because you have to spend so much money on it initially and then to keep blending it building it you're wasting the product you know what i mean so anyway blend out beautifully love this concealer i absolutely love it now i'm gonna dip in because you know i have creases i have natural creases under my eyes so I always have to go in and make sure nothing has settled into them. And then I, um, and you, as you can see, I put some on my eyelids because I like to, that's how I prime my eyelids for, uh, eyeshadow. And, you know, when you have creases under your eyes, natural not natural whatever mine happen to be natural my kids have them too you gotta make that ugly face you know that you have to make that oh well, that's funny you your your concealer is gonna be creasy you're not gonna get anything in there to set them okay nothing in there but you see how in my opinion anyway i just love let me say that because maybe you might look at this and be like girl that is not your undertone i love the yellow of this powder like I've tried other yellow powders and the yellow the color just 
it doesn't work for my undertone but to me this is like so good so good so so good okay and I just press it in I sometimes I bake sometimes I don't today I'm gonna I'm not gonna bake I'm just gonna press it in just press it in that's it okay <laughs> now what I'm gonna do I have to get another one of these quickly now what I'm gonna do is take my um, Queen collection powder which I, I used it up but it's because I really just can't find anything else that's so 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 good but I've even tried the Laura Mercier dark powder and it looked good on my skin but it broke my makeup up I just take this and I just kind of dust over the rest of my face to kind of set the foundation I mean, I guess it works, but I just, it's not my favorite favorite, you know, but it works. So. All right. So just a quick, 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 quick eye look. Um, I've been using this palette all week. I love it ever since I got it, actually, whatever day it was, I received it. And refuse when I reviewed it, it was um, I think I got it like like a day or so before that. I don't remember, but I love this palette. <laughs> okay, I love this palette. So it's just gonna be a quick look, like all my looks, because again, I'm not an eyeshadow connoisseur where I do these sickening, you know, three dimensional looks, and I also don't have a lot of lid space, so I'm very limited to the looks that, you know, I could kind of do for you guys and show all this artwork and stuff like that so we're gonna make it really quick okay we're gonna do it that's the trend my transition say the one i use were blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that was my quick transition shade the one that i used was artemis um the other one that i use in the crease always is calliope calliope the dark brown down here really really quick not about eyeshadow today but it's what I'm using so it's right here it's what I've been using so it's sitting right here in arm's reach wasn't gonna get up and go get another one and plus I really like this palette thanks again Manny MUA for putting me on your review I really like this palette and like I said before it's worth every penny if you like warm tones you do not need another palette or you could buy another palette, I'm just saying. Like, once you get this one, it's like, you know, if you're not somebody that buys eyeshadows all the time, you're good to go with this. So, I'm going to use Cirque. Cirque, right here. Cirque, Cirque. And I want to show you one more thing. That's why I'm doing my eyeshadow with you, with you guys. Um... Sorry, I have a little break out there, so. But I want to show you guys one more thing that I really, really like. Matter of fact, I'm going to leave that for the next video. I'm going to stop here. Ow, I poked myself in the eye. All right, well, I'm going to go on to finish my makeup. I have another video coming on right now um, I'm gonna actually film it now because I really need to isolate this product I don't want to get it jumbled up in this review or suggestion but anyway just to recap real quick um again my oily skin most favorite makeup foundation makeup foundation is the queen collection all day flawless three in one your face will be matte all day long it would look like you just applied your makeup right now my absolute most favorite setting setting keeps my under eyes nice and all day without cakey without drying without flaking without anything beauty bakery flower powder okay this is the color yellow all right um and my favorite concealer how could i forget how could i forget 
ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Remember, the pro tip to this, let it dry down just a tad, and you'll get really good coverage. All right, and outside of those, honorable mentions, Airspun. Um, this, oh, I didn't even mention the name. I'm sorry, Black Opal. Black Opal Invisible 200 Invisible Oil Blocking Loose Powder. And um, that's it. Was that it? Oh, <laughs> honorable mention, Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I did a review on this. And also the Fenty Beauty Foundation, color 420 in that, Sienna in this one. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned. I got a quick video coming up. I'm going to review this by itself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See you in a minute. Bye-bye.